this is National Chess Master Coach Bill. I'm here at chess.com. I'm going to cover a few games I played in a simul uh, late March. And I was making video during the time and it just didn't work. So I'll come back and handling a few requests. Uh, my basic stipulation is when I first gave this simul was take your time and think. You had two and a half minutes of move. And most people didn't do this. And uh, the ones that I do make a video for, most of them had uh, averaged about one minute a move or less. <laughs> so, you know, I told them I'd make a video, but you're going to get a quick one. So, this is going to be a quick video, even though it's 111 moves. Uh, let's just kind of run through this. Okay, this is all, all theory, opening theory, the symmetrical English. Now, the normal move here is to capture, that's the main line. Uh, now, uh, I don't really remember all the exact variations, but I know knight c2 is played in a lot of different positions, so I just went through with that. And you know, the idea eventually is to bring this knight up to here, or maybe the other knight. Just depends. So, both sides are getting their pieces in play, and I do this right away. Here he parts with the bishop. Okay, so now I have the bishop pair for what it's worth, but this bishop's kind of useless. It bumps into this pawn. So, let's see. And here I say, well, if you want to trade queens, I'll take the half-open A-file and deprive you of this square with your knight. So I behind that move. So he reinforces his queen. And I put the question to his queen. He hits my pawn on E2. I guard it. So I think the game is even. Uh, black is doing fine. Uh, and I go chase a pawn. He kicks me. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I thought he might kick me. He didn't. Well, that weakens this square. Okay, now I get a, get control of this. He was threatening to take it, and I trade to avoid getting uh, having to re redeploy my queen where it might not want it. So, uh, you know, I think Black is fully equalized. May even be a little bit better here, simply because he's got his rooks doubled and and mine aren't. Uh, but anyway, let's go forward. Now I decide to take that off. And we have some more trades. So, I think definitely uh, black is better here, simply because his works control open files, and mine, mine don't do much. So, chase and spawn. Trade stuff off. I we'll have to play a little defense here. I'll try to re-coordinate my rooks. So now, um, so I get my king in the game. Now there's an attack on a4. So we allow him to win a pawn, and then my king is going to try to hold off his two-to-one majority. And I get rid of one, but unfortunately he's going to take over the seventh rank, and I have to give up something. So uh, here I play uh, I I play rook takes because a rook trade will just lead to a drawn position, I think. Uh, but he grabs that. So time to get the king back over, but he cuts me off. Now time to try to penetrate with my rook stops that, so I come back over this way. Now here he's trying to activate his outside majority. And you know, he's done that. But i got to get my king over there. That might have been a mistake. Might have been better to push, but it should work. But White's close to holding holding this now. And you know, without much time on my clock, I don't, I, I, uh, you know, I was definitely in time pressure in every game, partly because everyone was moving so fast, but uh, probably King C3 will hold. Uh, but I calculated out that I can go into a King and Pawn ending, and I should be okay, but I miscalculated that. We'll see here in a moment, but then he miscalculated it too. Uh, you know, I, I saw that I could run over and grab this, and then I have this move, which puts him in Zugzwang, and he has to give up uh, uh, the pawn. But let's just back up a moment. Uh, all he has to do is just take this guy. 
and and it's in the positions in its favor. Let's just, just take. I don't need to take. And now he just centralizes his king, and he's going to duel with this. So uh, you know he's going to. And if I if I, I have to be careful if I go here, uh, he's going to queen with check. So that's one of the keys. See now he pushes. I push, he push, I push. And black wins. Okay, he can just win this any way he wants. Okay. So he didn't see that. So I miscalculated. So anyway, I pick up his pawn. And now the position is most likely a draw. I'll explain more when we reach the uh, queen and pawn ending. See, now I get to queen, and I get to queen with check. Now, the general rule of these queen and pawn endings, are, they can be a little misleading. Uh, to win, the you know you pretty much need your pawn on the seventh rank. If it's not there, it's, it's most likely a draw. And I had a game in 2015 U.S. Amateur West where... I could have kept both pawns, but I just thought that I was going into winning ending, and, and my pawn probably had a draw, but uh, he, he couldn't find it, and I definitely have a draw here, but I couldn't find it, as we'll see in about uh, 50 more moves. Okay, so, uh, but the, the object is just give perpetual check and, and try to keep that pawn from advancing, and it's very difficult to advance that pawn. It takes a long time. But at the same time, I'm the defender. I have to make sure there's uh, not a position where the queens come off and, and I can't stop his pawn. So I have to be on the alert for that. Uh, so, you know, it's just a matter of giving checks. And it's something... Now, I hear I stop giving checks. And there they start again. At some point, we repeated the position a couple of times. And I can't take because I can't catch up. We repeated the position a couple times, and I offered a draw. And the only reason I'm offering the draw is not because I think it's a draw. It's because if we repeat it one more time, it might just kick in that uh, that draw by repetition. Now here, there was a trick. If he interposes with the queen, I trade queens. You know, he, he you think you know this might, at first glance looks good because he's getting the queens off, but the problem is that my king goes to e6 after the queen trade, and and, and I hold this pawn. So. You know, just a matter of giving a whole lot of checks, and we give him a, a turn at it. So he's, his king's blocking the pawn, he's not making any progress, and he's just running up the moves. Uh, you know, 50 moves, If also the 50 move rule can come up, about 50 moves without a pawn move, I can claim a draw. So I'm getting very close to it. Uh, I think the last pawn move was at move 66, let's see. Move 67, actually, I, I promoted to a queen, so I just have to make it to move 117. We're at 95 now. There's still a ways to go. And I'm still playing some other games, too, and having to come back to this one. So, you know, just keep checking. You never know what will happen. I pin his pawn so it can't move. Pin it again. Now he finally gets to move it here at move 110. So I was close to the 50 move rule, and I, 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 I didn't succeed with it. And then I just end up uh, blundering. What I need to do is, is, well, I can't give a check. If I give a check, he gives a check. So probably what I need to do here is bring my queen down to the uh, uh, first rank. Or maybe send it way over here. You know, just... And... It's still an uphill fight. There's no reason for Black to take a draw and make me prove it. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Take care.